Okay, John Major, Luke Garrett, before we make the trip up to Oldham tomorrow evening. Uh, Luke, we've got a bit of a crazy week coming up, three long away trips all up north. Uh, I'm just curious, going into that period of, of three games, is picking up six points in your last two games the perfect way to go into those fixtures? Yeah, listen, you have a nine-point week in any given week in the National League season. It propels you up the table. You've seen that backing up our win away against Woking with a 1-0 win against Maidenhead. We've gone up to 13th, but three points are massive regardless. And we obviously start... The long free away days against Oldham on Tuesday, I stated to you on Saturday that it was about 900 miles. I've done the maths. It's close to 1,400. Um, but we prepare properly. We travel right. We're doing an overnight for Hartlepool, which breaks up the week. Um, and there'll be no excuses. You say that six points, massive. Yep, huge. But the focus now turns fully to Oldham and gaining hopefully another three points and coming back down south Tuesday evening. Yeah, you've got a lot of bodies now back in the squad. I don't know if people have ever seen Tom Whelan's back training. Um, is that going to be important with the, the three games coming up, the, the amount of travel that you're going to have to, to use your squad? I say in, and said in my programme notes, we've got 19 bodies on the training pitch. Um, we've got obviously one that's serving a ban. We've got one that's just returning being Tom Whelan. You can see him over my left hand shoulder. We've got two training groups today. We've got a recovery for the ones that started and we've got a little bit of a blow for the ones that didn't get the minutes on Saturday. But we have a board in there with the SNC and the injury team that it's nice to see the amount of personnel that we have available. Um, and it's going to be utilised over the coming, coming weeks. It's three tough away days. You look at Oldham, Hartlepool and Rochdale, these are three teams that have got great history uh, and they're going to be no easier. But we... we enjoy and embrace the, the challenge ahead and like you say we'll have in one or two that won't make the squad tomorrow evening and that's been a, a nice headache as opposed to having a headache of not having personnel available. Yeah we're coming off the back of, of two clean sheets in a row prior to that it was not until October that you kept a clean sheet in the league. What, what do you think the catalyst or the, or the change in, in that has been? Um, maybe a bit of work on the grass I'm not going to isolate it to that a little bit of luck some weldy saves from Ashmore I think there's a many variables um, a bit more of a better mindset from the group, a bit more of an understanding of what's expected, taking away the grey area, making it very black and white. Um, but yeah, we've got to keep growing on that. we got, like you say, we got our first clean sheet at Woking. That was our first one in 17 games. And then to back it up with another clean sheet against Maidenhead. We need a clean sheet tomorrow because it gives you an opportunity to win in a game of football. Um, it looked like us again on Saturday. It looked like what we're about as a group. And I'll be asking more of the same tomorrow evening against Oldham. Yeah, looking at Oldham then, from the first time we were probably scheduled to play this game, uh, they've recruited, they've brought in a lot of personnel. What, what have you seen from them and, and what are you expecting to see tomorrow? Prior to obviously their result against Woking and Ebbs Fleet, a team that found a way, personnel in their group that are experienced at this level. Hogan, he's obviously served his two-match ban, so he'll be available again tomorrow evening. We believe Norwood's out with a hamstring, which would be a massive loss for anyone in our division. He's up there with being the best striker in the division. Um, but then when you can call upon Fondop, Ghana, Dallas, you've got the likes of Green has come back in against uh, Esfleet, midfielder Conlon, Sheeran and Lundstrom. They're a fantastic side with a fantastic manager. And he's, he's done it twice, I believe, getting out of this division with two previous clubs and an appointment that was astute by Oldham because he knows that northern section, he knows that area, and he knows how to get out of this division. And like I say, prior to the two results, they've picked up one point in their last two games. I can imagine not playing in 10 days as well. They didn't have a fixture on Saturdays, probably giving them a little bit more of an edge to come out at us on, on Tuesday. So there'll be no surprises on our part. I'll, I'll make sure that the group are aware of that. Um, but for me, it's it's our business, going there with our business. We, we need to ensure that we continue what we're doing. Um, I say it was seventh in the form guide in our last 10, 16 points from our last 10. And I challenged the lads like I did on the weekend to go and marry up and better that return. So that's what we'll be expecting, especially going to Oldham tomorrow night.